Digital interactive whiteboards are extremely important for online teaching. In particular, some subjects where you want to explain something by freehand drawing or sketching and also for subjects where you want to do some class activities with your students online in a collaborative manner, you need a whiteboard. Because on a whiteboard, you can brainstorm with your students, you can get their ideas in an interactive and collaborative fashion. In this video, I'm going to review three of the most popular choices for online teachers as a digital whiteboard. I will try to cover most of their features and then it is up to you to decide which one is better for you. Although I will also give you my own opinion why you should or should not use a particular digital whiteboard. And we are starting right after this short break. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Tahir and I make videos about online teaching and about some of the subjects which I teach on various online platforms. If you are interested in these videos, please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any video. I post videos twice a week on Tuesday and Friday. And the three whiteboards which I'm going to discuss today are Google's Jamboard, Classflow, and AWW app or you can say AW app and I will try to cover most of their features but if I miss something you can put in the comments of this video and I can reply to your comments because mostly I reply all of my comments if I know the answer. So the first whiteboard is Jamboard. Uh, Jamboard is also a physical device by Google uh, which is a uh, extremely expensive but they also have an application so you type jamboard.google.com and then you have to log into your google account which i have logged in and in this account i have uh, one jamboard already here but i want to show you how to start a new jamboard to do that you click on this plus sign on the lower right corner and a new whiteboard will be created which is called jam at the top we have this sign and in the beginning you have only one page if you click here then this plus sign will appear and you can create another page and if you don't want you can delete this as well you can also duplicate this page once you have some contents on this if i click on this pen i have four types of pens and six colors available here which i can choose so let's say i choose this pen now i can draw whatever i want or I can solve any mathematics. It is not very easy to type by using the mouse and you will need some practice to do that. This was pen. Then we have a marker, a highlighter and a brush available and all these are slightly different. So let's try this highlighter and normally you can use this with some other colors. Now the next feature is eraser and you can use this to erase any particular object or part of it. But if you want to clear the board, you can just click on clear frame and it will erase everything. Then we have select button and then we have this uh, tricky note function. You can select any color and then you can type any note and you save it and it will be saved as a sticky note. These are good for doing activities or designing some activity resources for your students. Then we have a laser feature where you can highlight something during the presentation and it will delete later on. Then we can insert any image and you can insert the image from various sources. For example, you can do Google image search. You can get image from your Google Drive or photos. You can also select an image from your computer. So let's say I select this image. Now we can reset this image as we wish. And then if you want our students to collaborate on this image, we can share this. Click on this share button. Then either we can copy this link uh, just like a Google document and send them in the email or we can type their emails here and then we can click done. So in this way we can invite our students or other teachers to our Jamboard. I don't want to invite anyone at the moment. And now you can do your class activities. And because it is a Google product, it has very good collaborative uh, functions similar to Google documents. But my recommendation is that you should not use Jamboard unfortunately most of the time i recommend google products and if you look at my channel there are a lot of uh, google products which i use and i have made a lot of videos but uh, i am really disappointed with the google jamboard for various reasons uh, 
Uh, number one is that uh, their physical device Jamboard is ridiculously expensive. And the second reason is that their Jamboard app differs in all three mediums. So for their physical device, it has some other features. For desktop application, it has uh, only limited features. As you can see, we even don't have any shape feature here. And if you install on your mobile phone, you will get a little bit more features such as uh, shapes and a little bit more selection features. But again, they are constantly changing features from one place to another. So they have really messed up this product and this is uh, definitely a failed uh, project of Google. So you will be really disappointed when you will not find certain features when you uh, change the device. And there are a lot of other uh, whiteboards available, many applications available which are very good. I wanted to point this out because there are a lot of videos on YouTube recommending Jamboard without knowing that this is not a good product. So therefore I wanted to share my personal opinion with you. Now the second whiteboard which I'm going to discuss is Classflow. Classflow is a complete system where you can deliver online classes. You have many resources and I have a separate video uh, about Classflow where I have shown you how to deliver a class. But in this video, we are only going to focus on the whiteboard functionality of Classflow. Now I have logged into my teacher's account of Classflow and on the left hand side, I have this instant whiteboard. So if I click on that, now I get the whiteboard in class flow. And if you have any students enrolled in your class uh, and how to do that, uh, please watch the other video. Then you will see these two buttons enabled. But we are concerned about these features of this whiteboard. So let's have a look what features we have in class flow. And if you don't want to show this uh, class code, you can hide this. So now let's uh, have a look at the pen feature first and if I click on this little arrow I can see I can select from various colors and I have uh, six uh, features available here or six functions you can say freehand drawing, vertical line I can draw a vertical line, similarly horizontal line this will be straight horizontal so this is easy to draw horizontal or vertical lines then we have a fine pen a pen and a highlighter. So these are the same features. I don't have to show you, but you can draw anything which you want. Now, currently I have selected this horizontal line and the pen, and I can also increase the thickness of the line. So let's uh, increase this uh, ridiculously high. And now if I draw, it will be a horizontal line and it will be a thick line. Now let's change this to fine pen. And now if I draw, it will be a fine pen. And if I unselect this, and if I change this to freehand and thick pen, now I can draw whatever I want. And it will be a thick and freehand drawing. So you can select one from these three and one from these three and draw whatever you want. Then we have eraser. And here we can erase all annotations. If I click on here, all annotations will be erased. So let's undo. We can also have a freehand eraser and what it will do is whatever I want I can erase in a freehand motion. Uh, let's undo this again and then we have a vertical and a horizontal eraser. Let's say start from the vertical eraser and as you can see that now we can not erase in a horizontal motion. We can only erase in a vertical manner. So sometimes it is very useful when you want to draw a pattern for example. Similarly, we have a horizontal eraser where we can only erase in a horizontal direction. Let's clear everything and we have a text box where we can type anything, whatever we want. And we also have some settings available. If I click on these settings, we can rotate these, for example, like this. And if there are more than one objects drawn, now let's draw some shapes. Uh, let's say I draw a square and I move this square on top of this. Now in order to bring this text forward what I need to do is click on this settings uh, this wheel like icon and I can reorder this and bring it to front. So in this way uh, you can bring any object in front of the other. So you have the ability to order them which is a very good function to have in a whiteboard. You can also fill with any color. Let's undo this. 
we also have a zoom feature where we can zoom this uh, to any level which is a very good uh, feature to have and one of the best thing we have in uh, class flow whiteboard is uh, this tool feature we can add certain tools for example protector ruler compass and set square so you can have a protector here for example if you want your students to do some measurements and this comes with certain features which i have explained in other video similarly you can add uh, a ruler you can add a compass where you can actually draw circles and you can ask your students to do some activities and you also have these set squares similarly a spotlight and a revealer where you can hide something let's uh, click on spotlight you can see what you want to display and you can increase the size size of this spotlight where you want to hide rest of the slide and you want to focus on a particular thing so this is a very good feature uh, to have in an interactive collaborative uh, whiteboard so let's undo this this was a spotlight then we have a revealer and uh, because we can only have either a spotlight or a revealer so it will show me this message that it will replace the spotlight with the revealer so i say yes and no revealer means that uh, you are hiding complete slide and when you want to show it you just click on this cross and it will show the slide so class flow whiteboard has some fantastic features and uh, this is a very good choice for uh, teaching and uh, you need to open an account and your students need to open an account uh, so therefore sometimes you don't want to open an account and you want quickly to set up some whiteboard so for that i am going to show you another app which is called aww app or o app and that is a fantastic way to quickly set up your online digital and collaborative whiteboard and if i click on this website it allows me to straight away drawing on the whiteboard which out without opening any account although it is good to open an account because this whiteboard has a lot of features and you can use this instantly to start your online classes and i have opened an account but you don't need it you can straight away start drawing now as you can see that this whiteboard has a lot of features on both sides so we start again from the pen feature and if i click here we have pen marker and some arrows and lines and let's say i use this pen and i draw whatever i want to explain to my students and marker would be a little different or maybe a little thick if you notice then we have these arrows uh, where you want to draw something or point something i would say similarly we have lines then we have eraser and with simple eraser you can erase any particular area and with element eraser you can erase any particular element if you click on this element and then you have this scissor eraser uh, which uh, you can select as an area and you can erase anything in that area you just click once then you drag and you try to encircle the area so i click here and i drag and when all the objects are encircled i release you can also have the ability to draw shapes some basic shapes which you can draw and a rectangle you can write text you can also select the size of this text to be larger by dragging this uh, pointer or you can simply delete and then you can also upload three different types of uh, files images a uh, pdf or a powerpoint file and then you can also select some colors you can add some more colors from this color wheel and in order to save this board you click on this arrow and then you can save this board and now it will display this message that this board has been saved few seconds ago you can also export this board as a pdf and as a image and if you export this as a pdf then you have three different qualities uh, option regular or high quality or a super high quality now this is the collaboration feature the most important feature in, in any interactive whiteboard so we click on this and now just like any google document you can send this link to anyone or you can invite via email and then you can enter the email addresses and then click send invite so this is a similar feature to google document you can collaborate and invite your students to do some activity on this whiteboard and you also have this uh, zoom feature you can zoom in or out of this uh, whiteboard and you can make it full screen if you want because i am recording this video so i will not do that 
then you can share your pointer uh, with this button if you click here a message will appear that now you are sharing the position of your pointer and you can uncheck this again then you also uh, have a chat feature if you click here you can type some message and press enter so these were some of the features if i have missed anything please put in the comments and we will discuss further so conclusion of this video is that if you want a full featured whiteboard and you have time to plan your classes it is better to use class flow because that is a complete solution for your online classes if you are just taking a quick class where you don't have time to plan anything you, where you quickly want to get hold of a digital whiteboard in order to collaborate with the, some other people then you might prefer using aww app and i have already explained about jamboard so i hope you like this video if so please give it a thumbs up thanks for watching and see you next time